What's the good word everybody? Tiger727 back with a long overdue video. It's been a while, as it seems like it always is every time I do a video. Um, so we're just going to get right to it. Uh, do I have a lot of stuff I want to show? Uh, mostly trades, but about uh, I don't know, a handful of pickups. Two of which you can see in the background there. Uh, 86 Rod Carew, 86 Tops. That's from my last Tops card uh, PSA collection. And then a 04 Miguel Cabrera. He was still at the Marlins. Uh, picked that up for a pretty good price. Right around when he hit, got to his uh, 3,000 hits. Uh, so I picked that one up. And I got a couple other big pickups that I'll show you here at the end. Um, a couple rod Desert Shield. You know, you know how I am with these Desert Shield cards. Clay Parker. And I got really lucky with this Cecil Fielder one. Really, really good condition. Um, actually held both of these up under, under a black light uh, to see if they were authentic. I wasn't looking for anything else. I was just looking to see if they were authentic. Um, and they both fluoresced, which was cool because that means that they're more than likely authentic. Uh, one of the trades that I made, or, you know, let's stick with the pickups. I'm kind of hoping this guy makes a comeback. I already had one of these. But I figure I get another one since the rookie. It's only a few dollars. I got lucky with this one. Sixto Sanchez. He's had a rough career so far. Uh, picked up this Paven Smith rookie tops gold. And this was in a trade, I believe. Torkelson, who's having a very, very, very rough uh, rookie season. This was also part of a trade. Everything will be part of a trade unless I indicate otherwise. Uh, this is a Condelario number to 299. Um, these, I, I, I'm not familiar with these players, but one of the trades that I made, um, the guy was very apologetic because he was very, very uh, late on sending them. But he sent me a few extra, or a few extras. So if you guys have any feedback on these players, he sent me a couple uh, autographs. Not familiar with those guys, so if you guys have any info on them, let me know. Um, two more from trades, some more Tops Gold from my Tops Gold team sets. Rondell White. And, oops, sorry about that. Joel Jimenez. Uh, let's see, this is numbered uh, 110. Isak Paredes, who was actually traded to the Rays for Austin Meadows. Who has done absolutely nothing but has been hurt uh, or not hurt but i guess he's suffering from uh, uh vertigo but uh sounds like he's been working out the last three or four days down in lakeland um and that's the most he's been able to do so it sounds like he's kind of on the road to recovery which is good speaking of which sounds like uh, riley green was supposed to play a game tonight <clears throat> for lakeland tigers i have not heard how he did um, but during spring training, he followed the ball off his foot and broke his, broke his foot. A uh, bunch of Tigers here. I don't remember if it was the same guy with the autos, but another guy that was, um, oh no, it was a different guy. He was supposed to send me a numbered card to 250 amongst other cards in a trade, and he couldn't find it. So what he did, and I won't show them all, but he sent me the entire team set of the uh, golden star or the tops gold star set from 2020 the only one i didn't have was the cabrera but uh so i got the whole team set except for one so i thought that was super nice he threw out there was only like one of these was supposed to be in the trade and he sent the rest of them just because he felt bad because he couldn't find the one card uh, I was on a trip out of town for work. I found these at a store that I went to. Another Scooble, who has been very, very good this year. Uh, Riley Green, uh, rookie card. Uh, I found this uh, Andre Lipschitz Auto. All these in this stack at the store were half off. So the prices you see in there, uh, Larry Herndon Auto, it's 
So the one auto I did not have of a tiger. Uh, Jordan Zimmerman, black and white, or the, uh, uh, what do they call these, uh, reverse negative or whatever. Uh, Manning. I think this one's numbered, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, numbered to 299. Manning's actually, he's just been shut down uh, because of uh, elbow problems. Nice trammel. Seth Beer, rookie. And I found a bunch of Topps Gold. You know me and my Topps Gold. I'll run through all these really quick. Bonderman. Rayburn, who I believe is actually married to Jim Leland's daughter, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Alex Avila, not too happy with his dad these days, nor are most Tiger fans. Alexis Gomez, uh, Chris Shelton, Mabin. Matt Stairs, who spent the second half of 06 after the trade deadline with the Tigers. Had a pretty decent run with the Tigers for the few months that he was there. Alfredo Simon. Edwin Jackson. Joel Zamaya. He actually just hit the uh, Twitter feed yesterday. Uh, not too happy with the Tigers organization. If you get a chance to look that up, he had quite the uh, lengthy tweet about his displeasure with the Tigers and their lack of progress and uh, is not too happy with the uh, Alabila still being around. So I thought it was kind of funny that a former player is speaking out as much as he is, but I give him credit for that. Jose Iglesias was actually the first person to congratulate Cabrera on his 3,000 hits on the field, playing with Colorado now. James McCann, he's with the Mets now. Another Bonderman. And Renteria with a short stint with the Tigers. A few more of the bigger ones. Those stacks you see way in the background there. Um, those were also more trades, but I'm not going to show all those. Um, I do like these cards. These tops big from 89, I believe. Let me double check that. Yes, 89. And every card has two versions. At least two, I guess. Uh, if you look on the back, I don't know if it'll focus. But uh, in the copyright line, there's a... Uh, uh, this one has two stars. Some have two or one star. Some have the letter D and the letter C, I believe. So if you're looking for variations, there's another cheaper way to do it. Uh, just some oddball... Um, tigers, never seen this card before in all my years of collecting tigers. Another trammel. These were all trades too. Uh, Garinger. And then these are uh, tri uh, triple crown bests, I guess is what they're called. But they're like a 3D version. Travis Fryman, Chris Gomez, Whitaker, and Pudge with the Rangers. Pick this up because I still think he's going to be doing pretty well. It's a Dallas Garcia. I picked that up on eBay for a couple bucks or $1.50 or whatever it was. No, actually, that was a trade, my fault. And I got this Ozzy Smith Tops Living in a trade, which I did not have. I'm trying to get all the Hall of Famers from that set that I don't have. And for my two big purchases, I'll do them in order here. They're actually kind of one and the same. I'm moving my camera here. Hold on a second. I don't want this to fall down on you guys. Um, hopefully this focuses. George Kell. On a 1966 uh, exhibits, PSA DNA certified. So he did sign it up at the top left there. I just think it's super nice. I, the back is bare, um, but I, I just like that 
brownish look on the paper. Just looks really, really. It's got that vintage look to it. Just gotta love it. So happy with that. And then I couldn't pass up another George Calato on the Perez Steel. Um, I saw the Hall of Fame '83, and I was like, "Yep, I gotta have that one." So it's amazing how cheap actually you can actually you can pick these uh, Perez Steel cards up for autographed. Even autographed, the, I mean, unautographed are very, very cheap, but the autographed ones even, even more. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. So these are numbered to ten thousand. So that is all I got for you. Uh, hopefully, you liked everything. Appreciate you watching, and everybody have a happy Memorial Day weekend. Talk to you later.